Hey there, welcome to the Electronics channel. I'm David Williams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert binary numbers into decimal, and more specifically, how to do that when those binary numbers are fractional. This conversion process is very straightforward because each of the positions in a binary number has a particular weight. And what we can do is use the number, multiply it by the weight of the position that the, that the number is in, add up all of those numbers, and we end up with the decimal number that this value is equivalent to. So let's start off by putting those weights in. The first column to the left of the decimal place has the weighting of two to the zero power, or one. And then each time you move one over to the left, the exponent increases by one. So this is two to the zero power. This position has, has the weighting of two to the first power. This position has the weighting of two to the second power. This position has a weighting of two to the third power. Now going the other way to the right of the decimal point, each one of those positions has an exponent that's, that's going to be decreasing. So if this position was two to the zero power, the first position to the right of the decimal is two to the power of minus one. And then the next position is two to the power of minus two. And then the, net, the third position here after the decimal place to the right of the decimal place is two to the minus three. So I can convert these from the form that you see here into the actual numbers. So we get the, the weighting of this position will be eight, this will be four, this will be two, and this will be one. And then to the right of the decimal place, this position has a weighting of one half, this position has a weighting of one quarter, and this has a position of, this position has a weighting of one eighth. And now we can take the value in the number and multiply it by the weighting. So what we're going to have will be eight plus this position, the value zero, so it'll have a value of zero, plus two plus one plus one times one half plus zero plus this one will be one times one eighth. So the whole number part will be eight plus two plus one or 11. And the fractional part will be one half plus one eighth, which is five eighths. And of course I can write this out in decimal form. So that's going to be 11.625. So the number 1011.101 in base two is equal to 11.625 in base 10. Okay, I'm gonna do one more example, this time with a longer tail on the fractional part of the number. Again, I just need to apply weightings to all of these numbers. So I'm just going to write the weighting in for the, for the places where there's a one in that particular position. So this is a two to the zero. I don't need to include that value because the value there is, is zero. This position is two to the first power, two to the second, two to the third, two to the fourth, and then two to the fifth power. Now going the other way to the right of the decimal, two to the minus one, two to the minus two, two to the minus three, two to the minus four. This position is two to the minus five, two to the minus six, and then this position is two to the minus seven. To determine the decimal equivalent of this value, I just need to take those four numbers and add them together. This value two to the fifth is equal to 32. 2 to the first, of course, is equal to 2. 2 to the minus 5 is 1 over 32. And 2 to the minus 7 is 1 over 128. Now, if I just add these numbers together, well, I can split it into the whole number part and the fractional part. So I'll get 34 here. And 1 32nd plus 1 over 128 is 5 over 128 and write this out as an, in decimal format, it's 34.0390625. So ultimately, this number, 100010.0000101 in base two is equal to 34.0390625. I hope that helps your understanding of fractional binary to fractional decimal conversion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.